Every single piece of a pro wrestling match can be broken down into one of three categories. Do you know what they are? I do. I'll tell you after we do the intro bit. You know how it works. <laughs> I'm Mike Quackenbush, and this is Till We Make It. And if you are passionate about the craft of professional wrestling, and you're never done learning all about it, then you've landed in the exact right place, my friend. Join the Till We Make It tribe. Subscribe down below, and please enable those pesky notifications. That's a really important thing. I can already sense that today's episode will be one of the episodes where you hear the garage door rattling in the background, you have been forewarned. Today I want to define for you the three elements that make up every pro wrestling match. It's everything that you see and hear from the moment that the first wrestler's music hits until the last participant is back behind the curtain at the end of the match. And those three categories are mechanical, performative, and structural. Whether you are currently having matches or you're training to have your very first pro wrestling matches, you're going to need to build out your knowledge base to encompass these important concepts because increasingly you will be called upon to view wrestling through your analytical goggles. And so I want to give you these tools to help you when you're analyzing your own matches or when you're studying other matches that you want to be able to learn from. So let's dive into the details. So up first, what are the mechanical parts of a pro wrestling match? Well, the mechanics of a pro wrestling match are all the strikes, so those are your chops and your drop kicks, etc. The throws, things like fireman's carries and power bombs, and the holds, your arm bars, half crabs, and so on. But this will also include all the reversals and escapes thereof. Therefore, it could be said to encompass all the spots in a match. They make up the physical mechanics, and that includes Simple fundamentals like the way you hit the ropes or the way that you take a turnbuckle. The physical mechanics of a match are the ones that you manifest physically. Okay, so what are the performative parts of a match? Well, this refers to your performance tools, things like your facial expressions, your vocalizations, and your body language. Those tools that you employ while performing the match for the live crowd. So when discussing something like the way that you sell or emote, you are talking about one of the performative aspects of a match. Lastly, what are the structural parts of a match? Well, this refers to the underlying architecture of a pro wrestling performance. So when you hear people talking about the way in which a match is assembled or put together, or the psychology of a match, they are referring to the structural elements. It's the underlying skeleton that informs the way the wrestlers perform, and the moves that they execute. And just so we have no misunderstandings, I'm going to fire off a bunch of examples to help you differentiate. If a producer approaches you after your match and tells you that your chain wrestling looks loosey-goosey and you need to tighten up your forearms, that's a mechanical note. And if that same producer then compliments the way that you worked the crowd, that's a performative note. What if they advise you that your comeback needs to be shortened? That's a structural note. Okay, think you've got it? Let's take it out for a spin. Which of the three categories do the following notes fall into? You need to go bigger with your emotional offer while making your entrance. Got it? Right. It's a performative note. Try this one on. You never paid off that EEV in your climax. It's a structural note. Your back bridge in the tiger suplex was picture perfect. Which category? Exactly. That's a mechanical note. If you're a longtime member of the Till We Make It tribe, no doubt you have noticed this trend about the kind of content I post to the channel. I avoid making videos about the mechanical parts of professional wrestling because I believe those things are best left to in-person training. But the other two-thirds of every wrestling match, the performative and the structural elements, are the kinds of things we talk about all the time right here on the channel. In fact, 
All told, there's probably more than a hundred videos that fall into these two categories waiting for you to discover right here. If you've only just begun to learn about the performative and the structural elements of professional wrestling, then you need my toolbox, Building Better Pro Wrestling. It's a book I wrote about precisely these topics. And if reading it seems like a chore, don't sweat it. I'll read it to you. Grab the audiobook right now over at audible.com.